Welcome to another guide by me, Miss Biz. Today's guide is going to probably come in helpful if you are playing ESO during a major update and you are an add-on user on PC. You may have noticed that normally during a major update of ESO, all of a sudden you log in and none of your add-ons work. And you're like, what is going on? None of my add-ons work? Well, I'm going to show you how to figure out which ones are working and at least get you up and running with the working add-ons until the authors have a chance to update add-ons on their own. Now, whenever Zoss makes some changes to the add-on API or whatever, they actually turn off um, this little setting. This setting says allow out of date add-ons. This ensures that broken add-ons don't actually affect your gameplay or your ability to log in or otherwise. So we could just turn this setting on even though all these add-ons are out of date and see what happens. This is for the brave. If you don't want to do this or if you suddenly can't actually load up your character or something ridiculous, you'll actually want to just turn on one add-on at a time and that'll help you actually figure out exactly what add-ons are causing you issues. So here I'm going to go ahead and reload my UI. Here we go, I turned on all my out-of-date add-ons and as you can see, I already have some UI errors. So what are we going to do about this? Well, you can't fix the add-on if you don't know coding, so no, we're not actually going to fix it, but we are going to tell you some things to look for. Here you can see add-on slash no thank you. I have an add-on called no thank you, so obviously it is throwing errors. As well as advanced filters and a whole bunch more errors for advanced filters, another for no thank you, and one last one for advanced filters. Now these could pop up, pop up during gameplay as well, but just look and see if you recognize any of the add-on names. So I'm gonna turn off no thank you, I'm gonna turn off advanced filters and try a reload UI again. Here you can see when I reload my UI, a bunch of my add-ons are back to working, except of course, well, no thank you or advanced filters. We can't make them work, but at least now we're not getting errors constantly popping up. Some, Some add-ons won't actually throw errors right away, and it'll just pop up during your normal gameplay. Like I said, just look in the error and see if you recognize an add-on name. If you do, deselect that add-on until the author has a chance to actually fix the add-on up. And how are you going to see what an add-on author updates it? Well, check Minion. If you're not using Minion, you can check out ESO UI and update your add-ons manually. But if you're not, you can always check Minion and if there's any updates, there'll be a little update button right beside your add-on name. I'm actually showing you the broken add-ons on PTS because all of them have now been fixed for the actual live version. So I'm showing you old versions just so you can see what they're broken. But add-on authors are usually pretty quick. But remember, they have a lot to do and they even want to play the game themselves. So give them a bit of time and they'll get around to it eventually. Sometimes you'll get a little bit impatient and fortunately, someone else will get impatient too. Another good practice is if you notice an add-on is not being updated very quickly after a major update, you can look in Minion for a plugin. As you can see, no thank you had a plugin actually upload to esoui.com. So if I install that plugin, there you go, all of my error messages went away and I could use the no thank you add-on again. Maybe the add-on author is no longer working with this add-on, or maybe they just haven't had time to fix it yet. Who knows, but another user stepped up and helped out. So you'll want to watch for extra plugins as well, even if your add-on that you're looking for isn't updated yet. Now let's have a little discussion about this out of date. Out of date just means that one line in their add-on doesn't match what Zoss wants it to. Every time they update the API, uh, there's a new API version. If the API version line in the add-on does not match what Zoss actually is says is current, the add-on will say out of date. Now you'll notice, especially some very simple add-ons, they will honestly say out of date for a really long time and the add-on author won't fix it. This is probably because either A, they abandoned the add-on or B, because the add-on works perfectly fine and it's really 
no point in updating it. So don't be too worried if things say they're out of date. If they're working just fine, just keep on using it. If uh, that out of date really, really bothers you, and you know, maybe you consider yourself a little more advanced, you can head into your add-on folder and head into the add-on itself and change the API version to whatever Zoss deems current. If you actually feel that you can do this, I will suggest that you should already know where your add-ons are and you should figure out the current API version on your own. I do not suggest doing this, really. All it says is out of date. That is literally the only thing it does. It will not fix your add-on if it is broken, but it's just if you really, really hate that out of date there, you can update the API version and just not touch anything else. So there you go, that is my little guide of why when you logged in after Morrowind, our most recent major patch, that none of your add-ons were turned on, and how to figure out which add-ons you need to turn off until they get updated. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Bye!